Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And I know I've been gone for a little while, but it's great to be back with you. Hey, uh, you know, the world says that greatness is found in fame, in fortune, in power, in prestige, in all kinds of things. And, and because we live in this world, we get caught up in that. A lot of times we think, hey, if I want to be great, and then I've got to make these big marks, be somebody, be known, uh, have power, have people working for me, doing all kinds of things like that. And, and, and if we're going to represent Jesus in this world, then we've got to do things Jesus' way, not the world's way. And Jesus confronts the world maybe more than any other way in talking about the path to greatness, the path to significance the path to making a difference in this world. Here's what he says in Matthew 23, uh, verse 11 and 12. He says, The greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Did you catch that? If you want to be great, then you've got to be the servant of everyone. And, and whoever exalts himself is going to be brought down low, and whoever humbles himself is going to be exalted or lifted up. And uh, that echoes what Scripture says in multiple places. Uh, the Apostle James, the Apostle Peter, the Old Testament says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Jesus, when he was talking about greatness with his own disciples, he, he said, uh, if you want to be great, then you got to be the servant of everyone. Because the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And of course, we know Jesus served us by going to the cross, taking our sins upon himself, uh, being buried, and then, of course, rising from the dead. And, and I just want to challenge you at this. If we don't think differently about what it is to be great, if we don't think differently about what it is to be significant, we're going to fail. And, and I, for one, uh, I, I want you and I want myself to experience the blessings of God under the success of God, and that means that we've got to do things God's way. So I'm going to challenge you to embrace servanthood, embrace serving. In fact, radical service is one of the core values of Calvary because uh, we believe that the, the best statement we can make of God's love to this world is through acts of kindness and service. And, and so we do a lot of serving projects. We encourage people to serve because we want you to tap into the greatness of God. So uh, begin by serving your family, serve your spouse, serve the people around you, uh, let them know that, that it's not all about you. Uh, extend that by apologizing when you're wrong, because that's part of serving, is acknowledging that, that we're not all that. Uh, and look to the needs of others before yourself, because that's where serving really comes in. If we're always putting ourselves first, then we're never going to find greatness. I know it's counterintuitive. It goes against everything the world says. But again, if you're a follower of Jesus, listen to Jesus. Because he says, the greatest among you shall be your servant. And whoever exalts himself is going to be humbled. And whoever humbles himself is going to be exalted. So I pray that today you step into a humility, you embrace serving, and you get a taste of God's greatness. God bless. I hope this blesses you.